2019 has been a fascinating year for science and technology. A number of startling breakthroughs have been made in different fields of science. On one hand, NASA has continued to explore the deep pockets of space, making new discoveries and expanding human knowledge about different phenomena. On the other hand, other space agencies have also picked up the pace and begun sending spacecrafts of their own to the Moon and to planets within the solar system. Scientific research in fields other than space has also led to some startling discoveries in 2019. All in all, 2019 can be considered as a highly successful year for the scientific community around the world. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at five amazing science discoveries made in 2019. The New Horizons space probe flies by Kuiper Belt, Object 2014 MU69. Launched in 2006, the New Horizons space probe completed its primary mission of performing a flyby study of Pluto in 2015. Then it moved to its secondary mission that was to perform a flyby and to study the objects in the Kuiper Belt. On the 1st of January 2019, at 5.33am, the New Horizons space probe successfully performed a flyby close to the Kuiper Belt object 486958204MU69. This distant object is also known as the Ultima Thule. It is floating amongst the different asteroids, comets and icy rocks in the Kuiper Belt. If you are not familiar, the Kuiper Belt is the region of the solar system that exists beyond the eight major planets. The Ultima Thule was discovered by the Hubble Space Telescope in June 2014. In 2018, the New Horizons space probe took some distant photographs of the object. And finally, on the 1st of January 2019, it managed to perform a flyby. With this flyby, the Ultima Thule has become the farthest object in the universe that has been explored by a space probe. During the flyby, the space probe flew past the Ultima Thule at a distance of only 2,000 miles. Earlier, when the New Horizons space probe performed a flyby over Pluto, it was at a distance of 5,800 miles from the planet. After the successful flyby, the first photographs of the Ultima Thule were released by NASA. The photos revealed the object has a snowman-like shape. The Ultima Thule is composed of two lobes that have roughly spherical shapes. The lobes are tightly joined at the neck, and at this part the material shines much more brightly than along the other parts of the object. The Ultima Thule is around 21 miles in length. The official name of the distant Kuiper Belt object is 486958-2014MU69. However, after the exploration, the NASA team named one lobe of the object Ultima and the other lobe Thule. The object has a red colour which, according to scientists, is due to the discoloration from the deep space radiation. Researchers believe that the two lobes of the Ultima Thule were most probably separate objects and they slowly came together to form a single object. Researchers believe that the images and the data obtained as a result of the New Horizons flyby across the Kuiper Belt will revolutionise our understanding of the Kuiper Belt, the Ultima Thule and other objects that lie in the Kuiper Belt. The New Horizons space probe has enough fuel to continue exploring the Kuiper Belt for another few years. According to researchers, the probe could be in the Kuiper Belt until 2028. So researchers are looking forward to receiving a lot of data about the Kuiper Belt and the objects that lie within it. A study finds that tons of methane is released into the atmosphere by melting ice sheets in Greenland. Recently, a study has revealed that the thick ice sheets in Greenland are releasing tons of methane gas into the atmosphere. The study was conducted by an international team of researchers who camped near the ice sheets in Greenland for a period of more than three months. They collected samples of the melted water from the ice sheets. The researchers used novel sensors in order to measure the methane gas in the melted water in real time, and the results were quite amazing. It was found that methane gas was continuously being exported from under the ice sheets. It was calculated that about six tons of methane was released into the water 
just at the site where they were collecting the samples from. This is roughly the same amount of methane as released by 100 cows. Methane, or CH4, is amongst the most important greenhouse gases in the Earth's atmosphere. Only carbon dioxide and water vapour are more important than methane. Most of the methane in the Earth's atmosphere is produced by different microorganisms and some part of it comes from the fossil fuels such as natural gas. After the discovery of methane gas under the ice sheets of Greenland, the researchers are now turning their heads towards the ice sheets of Antarctica to find if they hold and are likely to release similar quantities of methane gas. China achieves the first landing on the far side of the moon. On January the 3rd, 10.26 a.m., according to Beijing local time, China made history as Chang'e 4 spacecraft made a soft landing on the dark side of the moon. This area is also referred to as the dark side or the far side of the moon. It was the first attempt by any spacecraft in history to land on this unexplored part of the moon. We cannot see this part of the moon from Earth. The details of this mission were kept secret by the Chinese space agency till the last moment. Once the spacecraft successfully landed, pictures of the moon captured by the spacecraft were shared on Chinese state television. Earlier in 2013, another unmanned spacecraft named Chang'e 3 was launched by China that made a successful landing on the surface of the moon. However, that landing was not on the dark side of the moon. Still, with that landing, China became the third country after the US and the former Soviet Union to make a landing on the moon. Chang'e 4 spacecraft was launched on the 7th of December 2018 from Earth. After five days, it had reached the orbit of the moon. Then it started lowering itself towards the moon very slowly. The Chinese lunar spacecraft explored the area of Van Kármán crater in the South Pole Aitken basin of the moon. Astronomers announced the discovery of a second repeating fast radio burst. Over the years, astronomers have been baffled by a unique phenomenon that sends a transient radio pulse of length ranging from a fraction of a millisecond to a few milliseconds. It is known as a fast radio burst, or FRB. Astronomers believe that it is caused by some extremely high energy astrophysical process happening deep somewhere in the universe. The strength of an FRB has been described as 1,000 times less than the strength of a mobile phone signal that would be received from the Moon. Astronomers are not sure as to what causes an FRB. In 2016, scientists made a breakthrough when they discovered the first repeating FRB. They realised that a series of bursts was coming from one single source. Now, in 2019, scientists have stumbled upon a second repeating fast radio burst. The first signal from this new source was received on August the 14th, 2019. Then within the next couple of months, the researchers received four more signals from the same FRB source. According to researchers, this new FRB source that has been named FRB 180814 is located at a distance of about 1.6 billion light years away. A detailed analysis of the first repeating fast radio burst had revealed that it was probably coming from an extremely magnetic environment, so there is a possibility that it could be coming from a neutron star or a black hole. However, when the scientists measured the polarization of a signal received from this newly discovered repeating FRB, they found it to be very low. This has led researchers to believe that not all FRBs are coming from extreme environments. With the discovery of the new repeating FRB source, researchers are now confident that they will soon be able to discover more sources of repeating fast radio bursts. Astronomers at the University of Warwick present the first direct evidence of white dwarf stars solidifying into crystals. Another amazing space-related discovery was made in 2019 when the astronomers working at the University of Warwick found evidence of white dwarf stars solidifying into crystals. White dwarfs are stars like our Sun that have died long ago. The recent study has shown that these stars have a core of solid carbon and oxygen because of a phase transition in their life cycle. 
This phenomenon is quite similar to the phenomenon of water turning into ice. However, with stars, it happens at much higher temperatures. These new insights have led the scientists to believe that the white dwarfs could be much older than they were previously thought. In fact, they could potentially be billions of years older than previously thought. White dwarfs are amongst the oldest objects in our universe. Scientists have been using these stars as cosmic clocks in order to estimate the age of the neighboring stars. During the recent study, scientists observed 15,000 white dwarfs located within a distance of 300 light years from Earth. According to researchers, it is the first direct evidence of white dwarf stars solidifying into crystals. Now researchers believe that all white dwarf stars crystallize at some point in their life. Scientists have estimated that our Sun will also become a crystallized white dwarf after approximately 10 billion years. But what do you think of these five amazing scientific discoveries made in 2019? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more amazing videos.